Shirea is a Tamman knight who was born and raised on the planet Thalia. As a young child, she was orphaned and found living on the streets of the city of Kalshaya in the Decanta province with her adopted brother and sister, Rurk and Kurai. As children, the three of them made their living stealing whatever they needed to survive. Thinking only of themselves, they believed the rest of the world didn't care about them, so they saw no need to be concerned with how their actions harmed others. One day they had been caught stealing by a group of merchants who were prepared to take revenge upon them. Fortunately, they were saved by a Tamman knight named Kalai Udon, who sensed within the three of them a strong ability to tune into the Tamman. He gave them a choice, remain on the street as thieves where they'd end up either in jail or dead, or become his apprentices and trained to become Tamman knights, an ancient religious order of Thalia. Given the choice, the three picked the latter and moved into the temple of the Tamman knights and began their training. As an apprentice, Sharia displayed great skill and strength. However, such skills made her arrogant and caused friction due to her reckless, leap-before-you-look attitude, which contrasted with Karai's more serious, no-nonsense approach. Many of the other apprentices gave Shiria the nickname the Fearless Fool. As a result of Shiria's irresponsible and immature behavior, Kurai often grew irritated with her, causing the two of them to argue frequently. This often caused Kurai to give in to her anger. It was during one of these arguments that Shiria managed to drive her sister into a fit of rage, drawing on the power of the Koldar, her inner darkness. Kurai overpowered Sharia and almost killed her, had it not been for the intervention of their master. Following this event, Kurai was abducted by a group of Koldar warriors, dark counterparts of the Tamman Knights, who believed themselves to be real Tamman Knights, while at the same time believing that the legitimate branches of the Tamman Knights were a twisted perversion of the original teachings of Princess Alderoth the founder of this religion and the first officially recognized Tamman Knight. The Koldar warriors thought that negative emotions like anger and hatred made them powerful, while love and compassion weakened them. The Koldar warriors believed that their twisted views were correct and had tried to turn Karai into one of them as part of their larger plan to destroy the Tamman Knights and create a galaxy-spanning theocratic empire where all non-believers would either be forcibly converted or destroyed. Fearing that her actions led Kurai to give in to her inner darkness, Sharia, like a Koldar warrior, had given in to emotion rather than logic. Rushing off to confront this cult and rescue her sister without a proper plan, Sharia found herself alone against scores of armed enemies. Meanwhile, the Koldar warriors had been searching for an ancient magic scroll that would have allowed them to instantly teleport anywhere across the galaxy, allowing them to spread their dark religion and destroy all those they deemed unworthy. Originally, they used Shiria as a test subject and sent her off to a remote, backwards planet called Earth. There, this reckless, foolish Tamman apprentice found a teenage girl named Chiyoko and began training her as an apprentice. Thus, the sins of the teacher were passed on to the student. Originally, Shiria would later die, only for Chiyoko to later give in to her own inner darkness and become a Koldar warrior. However, a woman named Scarlet Nightwalker would later travel back in time and alter history, ensuring those events would never happen. Thanks to Nightwalker's intervention, history had been altered, and Master Kalai Udan, along with the other Tamman Knights, discovered what the Koldar warriors were doing and rescued both Shiria and Kurai, while Nightwalker secretly took the magic scroll, thus preventing the Koldar warriors from creating their dark, theocratic, galaxy-spanning empire. Thanks to Nightwalker's altering the past, Shiria wasn't sent to Earth and remained on Thalia to complete her training and become a full-fledged Tamman Knight. This incident is what helped shape Shiria into the Tamman Knight she is today. It caused her to grow into a more responsible, more rational, more compassionate and selfless person. She quickly excelled, becoming the second youngest person to obtain the rank of Tamman Knight, Karai being the youngest by only a few months. It was also thanks to the above-mentioned incident that Sharia learned not to be so rash and given to emotion, learning to calm her mind so she could think her way out of any situation, 
As a result, she has a relaxed, easygoing attitude, which makes her very friendly and personal. This, combined with her spiritual growth, allows her to act both as diplomat as well as warrior, being able to resolve conflict by talking while still being able to defend herself and others when necessary. Despite Nightwalker altering the past, another sorceress named Zolita is determined to prevent history from being altered any further. Thus she later sent Sharia to Earth. Like in the original timeline, Sharia would again find this teenage girl named Chiyoko, whom she would train as an apprentice. The difference this time was that Sharia was older and more mature. Having used her Tamman powers to look into the future, she saw the original future Scarlet Nightwalker came from, but also saw another possible future. One where she didn't die and Chiyoko wouldn't become a Koldar warrior. Now Shiria, along with Scarlet Nightwalker, Mystic, and Nunian, work to ensure that history doesn't repeat itself, despite Zolita's attempts to ensure that it does.